Hello all gen safarians and welcome back to our basement dino dungeon Okay, this is the place where I keep all my dinosaur figurines as well as our animal models Okay, and speaking of animal models Today we will take a look at our crocodiles collection versus snakes versus horses Okay, so this is going to be exciting. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's go Okay guys, so let's begin Alright, our first figure right here is a donkey. Okay, donkey actually belongs to the same family as the horses, so we're gonna put this donkey uh, into this box where I put our deers, our horses, our goats, our bulls, okay? So next up, this is a huge alligator figure. Yeah, we got this figure like, you know, very recently. Oh, it still has this band right here, so let's remove it. So this is actually a pretty nice figure. It's pretty huge and um, soft at the same time. It's really nice. You can see there are some alligator babies. And I didn't realize that, you know, alligator, alligator babies actually have like stripes on this body. So it's pretty cool. So this will not go into the box because I actually put this, you know, somewhere else. Next up, let's take a look at the snakes. This is a new con, um, a brown snake figure that I purchased just to make an Australian animal videos for you guys, okay? So we'll be doing an Australian animals video really soon. Next, we have another beautiful horse. I now think this horse is known as a um, black forest horse. I mean, if you take a look at the mane, it looks absolutely beautiful. Another small horse right here, but this one, it doesn't really have a manufacturer name. It's more like a, you know, a kind of budget figure, but still looks pretty good. Next, we have a um, Nile Crocodile. This is actually a 2015 figure, but we got this figure like many years, many years back, I think. Yeah, many years back. When we first started, you know, then surprise. Okay, let's take a look at this. Another really beautiful horse, but it doesn't say, um, it doesn't state the breed or the species of this horse. This is actually a figure from Peppo. Looks pretty good. It looks very elegant, I must say. I like this a lot. Um, this is a Shire horse foal. It's a young Shire horse. And you can see this is like the adult Shire horse. Yeah, I mean, if you take a look at them, they do look kind of similar. But of course, the mane for the uh, adult one is actually much longer. Yeah, I think horses are really, really beautiful animals. Especially the mane, they look so cool. Yep. Next, let's take a look at this snake. I think this is known as a corn snake. It's a pretty cool figure, but I don't like the fact that you can't really remove it. You know, this is actually stuck to the body. But I think if you use a lot of force, you might be able to separate them. Yeah, it could be. It's a corn snake. Nice one. This is a quagga, which is like a, um, a rather an extinct animal. Yep, so yeah, I don't think this is this exists anymore. Probably, I, I'm not too sure. I don't think they exist anymore. Maybe there's one left, just that is hidden from humans. Who knows? Okay, zebras are definitely from the um, same family as the horses. So we have a couple of zebras. You know, these two zebras were actually sent to us by a dance of foreign. Right? Um, I do accept fan mail. Okay, so if you guys want to send me drawings, please feel free to do so. Alright, next up, this is a rattlesnake. Yeah, check this out. This is a sidewinder rattlesnake. So, why is it named as a sidewinder? I think it's because the body actually moves like sideways, like you know, winding sideways, and the, this tail can actually rattle. It's a nice figure. Another horse figure, this is from a um, manufacturer known as Brayer. I think they produce like very good. Um, horse figures and speaking of horse figures I've actually ordered a set of horse figures they should be arriving really soon so I'm look really looking forward to receiving it and making like a collection video for you guys this is known as an albino Burmese python yeah I think this figure it should be like way larger and it will look you know more impressive but it's a small figure but still looks really nice um, a brown horse. This horse, I think, is one of my very, very, very old figure. It's really, really like, you know, budget type. It's really cheap. It's not like the best figure you can find out there, but still a very cute figure. 
Komodo dragon is definitely not a um, crocodile, but I think, you know, it's still part of the um, reptilian com um, family. So, yep, a reptile right here. So this will go into the reptile box. Cayman, yes, this is like a small species of crocodile. I've actually seen some of them um, in the zoo. I've seen one of them, it's just like a meter long. Yeah, just a couple of in um, feet um, long. This is pretty small um, crocodile. This is a really beautiful, I think there is like a specific name for this species, but I just can't remember. Yeah, it starts with K if I'm not wrong. Yeah, but I can't remember. If you guys know, help me out. Um, I brought this because we don't really have enough crocodiles and I think the iguana, they do have some resemblance to crocodiles. I mean, probably just a little bit. I mean, they have like four legs, they have a tail, they have scaly um, body. Yeah, but of course they are all reptiles. Next, another zebra. This zebra is definitely our best looking zebra figure. It's a um, very old figure from Schleich, I think. Another zebra right here. This is from PNSO. So PNSO, uh, they actually have a set of like African animals. All right. Next, this is a saltwater crocodile. If I'm not wrong, this animal here has the largest bite force on Earth. That's right. Yeah, even stronger than a lion. Even stronger than a bear. Yeah, that's right. Cobra. This figure looks very realistic. If you put this, like, you know, on the floor at home, it is definitely going to scare people away for sure. And um, this actually states that, you know, a species of cobra can actually spray venom up to like 8 feet, which is pretty, pretty far. Yeah. Um, I think this should be a crocodile. I can't really tell, or it could be an alligator, but I'm leaning towards um, calling this a crocodile, I think. And um, this is definitely a crocodile, a saltwater crocodile. Let's see what effects are written right here. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest reptilian species. Oh, okay. So this is basically the biggest reptile on Earth. Even bigger than... Um, I mean, crocodiles are the biggest. What, what else are there? Okay. Um, we have a white alligator. White alligators, they are actually not albino. They are actually leucistic. I mean, do check it out. This is a horse from um, PNSO. Nice one. And um, another horse from Breyer. Like what I've mentioned, Breyer actually produced a lot of horses. So I'm trying to expand my horse collection. I know many of you guys actually love horses a lot. This one right here, I am calling this an alligator, but I'm not 100% sure because I can't really, really tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator except for, you know, the snout. I know that the crocodile snout is um, like narrower and um, the snout of an alligator is like much wider. So if you take a look at this, it's easy to tell the difference. But for this figure, wow, is this a crocodile or is this an alligator? It's really hard to tell because it's not really like, you know, super accurate. All right, let's move on. What is this? Um, I'm trying to find a name, but I don't think... Oh, there's a name right here. It's a koi snake. Yeah, a koi snake. I mean, any snake can be known as a koi snake, right? I mean, as long as they koi together. Um... This is like one of the um, really, really old snake figures that we have got and um, doesn't come with any name and perhaps the paint work doesn't really resemble an actual snake, who knows? And this is a coral snake and it's supposed to be like a baby. Yeah, really beautiful one. And speaking of snakes, I've actually seen, uh, there are actually some snakes around my house. They are like those kind of green tree snake. I think they are pretty harmless to humans, but yeah. All right, guys, so this is my collection of horses, crocodiles, and snakes. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.